Good morning, everyone. This is Charles, and this is the Hawaii Volcano Update Report for Friday, February 2nd, 2024, at 10.08 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. The USGS slash HVO says that the Kilauea volcano is still not erupting. The seismicity along the Koa'e Fault system southwest of the summit remains elevated, and deformation patterns in Kilauea summit remains uh, remains. Okay, I think they boo booed there. Uh, and deformation patterns in Kilauea summit remains show signs of deflation. <laughs> so, yeah, I think someone typoed. Um, the intrusion of magma southwest of Kilauea summit remains active, and an eruption could occur in the future with little warning. Current summit observations show that as of this morning, seismicity uh, was 5 to 7 miles or 8 to 11 kilometers southwest of the caldera in the vicinity of Pu'ukoa A. I guess that's how you pronounce that one. Continues at rates of 20 to 35 locatable earthquakes per hour. Earthquakes in Summit Caldera region continue to show uh, lower rates of less than 10 per hour. Depths have remained consistent 1 to 4 kilometers, less than a mile to 2.5 miles below the surface, and magnitudes range a maximum of 2 plus to less than 1 in total. 63 earthquakes have been recorded in the caldera region over the past 24 hours, and 504 have been recorded along Koaea's fault system. Over the past day, tilt meters near Sand Hill and the Bluff area have recorded an additional 40 microradians of change consistent with deflation as magma moves into the region southwest in the direction of where earthquakes are occurring. However, since about midnight, the rates of change have decreased. Global, global positioning system instruments have recorded up to 8 inches of motion at stations around the southwest rift zone, consistent with magma moving into a dike-like body in the region. A dike is a tabular body of magma in older existing rock. Sulfur dioxide SO2 gas emission rates remain low. Field measurements indicate a SO2 emission rate of approximately 70 tons per day on January 17th, which was similar to measurements in October, November, and early December. Pattern of earthquakes and ground deformation continued to indicate that magma is moving beneath the surface southwest of the summit along the Koa, 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 Koa you know, they keep writing this different, Koa fault system. The Koa fault system, which appears as low cliffs or scarps on the surface, connects Kilauea's east and southwest rift zone south of the caldera. At the time of this report, activity remains elevated. Periods of increased earthquake activity and rates of ground deformation can be expected to continue in this region. Based on past historical activity, this event is much more likely to continue as an intrusion event but there is still a possibility of it ending in an eruption. Kilauea Volcano Alert Level and Aviation Color Code remains at watch slash orange as the situation remains dynamic. HVO will continue to evaluate alert levels and notices will be issued as activity warrants. Please note that upgrades to the network are causing intermittent outages that are affecting public access to monitoring data. HVO maintains internal access to volcano monitoring data and will continue to report on volcanic activity. We apologize for any inconvenience during this dynamic time. Now looking down at the rift zones, observations show that seismicity in Kilauea's east rift zone and the southwest rift zone remain low in the past 24 hours. USGS and HVO will continue to closely monitor the summit of bo and both rift zones. While no unusual activity has been noted along the middle or lower sections of the Kilauea's east rift zone, Measurements from continuous gas monitoring stations downwind of Puo'o in the Middle East Rift Zone, the site of the 1983 to the 2018 eruptive activity, have been below detection limits for SO2, indicating that SO2 emissions from Puo'o are negligible. And that will wrap up today's HVO USGS Hawaii Volcano Observatory Daily Update. Thank you for listening, and you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.